What's, what's, what goes into the shoe selection? I, I've seen the, the neon shoes have been out. Shane's been changing them up. Are you guys, you guys do that as a, as a plan or? Yeah, it's two uh, guards and? Yeah, it's just, yeah. uh, just warm. <laughs> he just had to wear his and, um, you know, uh, this is a team that I, I think uh, take their shoes a little more seriously than most, <laughs> but um, people just like to feel good and when you feel good on the court. Uh, it's got to make productive plays on the court because you feel good, you feel upbeat, and I guess that has something to do with the shoes. Do you think that you blind some of the opposing defenders when the, the shoes are really bright and making you defend? No, I'm just... I don't know. That's what I've been hearing. Like, uh, my friends would tell me that's what the commentators say. I'm yeah. blinding people on the court and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know, but uh, so from time to time, I would catch people, like, you know, on the free throw line, people like, staring at my sneaker instead of focusing on getting the actual rebound. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of a positive force <laughs> that has the team unfocused. All right, can, can you take, take me through the, the last play of the game? I, I know you, you, didn't, you didn't shoot it, you weren't involved in that, that rebound tipping by Reggie, but what was going through your mind as you were watching that unfold? I mean... Uh, I don't know, I, I was just, it was just blank. Um, when I see Shane uh, go towards the basket, and uh, I think NC State did a great job of not helping and, um, and committed to every play and forcing Shane to to create a shot for himself. Um, as he went down the lane, I realized he had to take a, a tough shot, which it looks like it looked like it was good. And um, luckily, Big Reg down there to just clear up space and get a good tap. And now, was that that chuck by Purvis at the at the buzzer? Would that have been? I've heard mixed things. I heard that it would have been no good because it came off too late. But other people said it might have been. Um, it was, I don't know. I gotta watch tape to see if he, if he got it off in time, but. If he did, that, it was very close because it, it rimmed out. Yeah. It was really close. It was like right on track. Yes. Also, I, um, the, that dunk he had, and it was a freshman coming in. Uh, what did you think What did you think of that? Um, it was crazy. By the time I looked up, man, he's like, a couple feet higher than me. I'm like, oh, this kid, <laughs> this kid really about to do something up there. And then um, he caught like a Blake Griffin type of dunk, just caught it, just threw it in, and I was, I was amazed. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty impressive play. Yeah. Um, Early in the game, it seemed like they're defensively they were they were kind of all over you and forced you into a couple of tough shots. And later in the game, you seemed to be able to slice through them at will. What do you think was the the reason for that? Do you think maybe they got tired at the end, they expended too much energy, or just the spots sure. opened up um, and team just stuck together. We just stuck together as a team, and um, we knew we had to win this game. We had to do whatever it takes. We had to. We knew they were playing hard. We were playing hard, but we just had to play harder for us to win because we couldn't stay at the same exact level with them. And I think um, as a team, we took took uh, another step up, bring it up a notch. And um, as you can see, we took it up a notch one, at one point. And it, it worked out successfully for us. One of the key plays at the end was your steal. And then you went uh, coast to coast and you finished with a layup. Um, looking back, like how important was that at that point in the very, game? I mean, very, uh, I made up my mind, I knew we need to stop. I made up my mind, I was, just in my telling their point guard just to pass it so I can just get it. And he made the pass, I just ran the lane and uh, I was fortunate to get a steal and I uh, got to finish another end. And, and did you hear about the, there was a picture going around about one of the NC State coaches making a choke uh, gesture at, at you guys, like at the end when you had a lead and NC State rallied, I mean it was a back and forth game, but he did one of these. I don't know if you guys had heard about that and Usually a gesture like that usually comes back and bites you in the ass, you know. Uh, actually, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't hear about it, but but um, it was it was pretty cool. I mean, now that we know that, we just use that as motivation, you know. And um, we don't look at things like that. We just try to move on. Just worry about us as a team and just keep striving.